Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to create a background for a YouTube channel like mine. Um, so yeah, first of all you want to get the template. I'll put the link to it in the description. And okay, now you, if you're, oh uh, never mind, um, can you use this in Adobe Fireworks. Now, there was one for Photoshop, but it needs to become a premium member for Rapid Share. So, if you want to do that, go ahead. Uh, also, I'll put a link to how you can download Adobe Fireworks for free. This also works in Adobe Fireworks CS4. Now, save the template. Right click and save image as. Save as a PNG. And let's just call it um, YouTube template. Okay, save. Now open. No, um, double click it. Where to? You yeah, double click it. I save to my desktop, so it's gonna be there. Should open. Yeah, there's a little fireworks. CS3 and CS4 remember and you'll get this right here so go to your rectangle tool if you don't have it selected you probably have to hold down and go on rectangle tool now I'll just zoom in a bit because I need and that's good enough so now you want to make a rectangle it doesn't really matter how big or small it is it's going to be the perfect size now drag the rectangle beneath everything else and you know like your paint bucket tool and i'll just make it back and then this Um, yeah, I'll fill that with black. Okay, so now it's done. Actually, I'll just delete that layer. Okay, now we've got our, you know, rectangle with that glow. Next, you want to go to your rectangle that you made. Click on that layer. Next, go down, to, still go down to the stroke and set it to nothing. And now you can um, change the gradient. Just go here. Oopsie daisies. Fill. Go here, go to gradient, and choose linear. Okay, now you can edit it. But first, I'm going to go to styles. It, in CS4, you'll see a drop down menu and go on dark chrome styles. On CS3, you'll get all of styles listed together. Now just choose a style anywhere here. I'm choosing this one. Only for tutorial purposes, I do not know. I completely forgot how I made my thing, but you could try to figure out. Yay. Okay, next, click on the co gradient color thing, which is here. Okay, now get this. Now you can change your color and, that. and add a new box by just clicking anywhere. Let's make this one. Yeah. I was Oops. Um. Oh, what the heck? We'll just go with this. Make that brighter red. Uh. 
finish go off with the black. See you then. No, that's the gradient. Pretty decent. Next, we'll put in some text. So go over to your text tool and then just type in anything you want. I'm just going to kind of put um, I might do the example. change the color well we're gonna go into that later actually we're gonna do one now just make sure that layer is selected the example layer text layer now choose one of the gold effects on the styles see that looks much much better now you can increase the size change the font whatever 93 Six. Okay, that's big enough. Now, can go to your scale tool, hold shift, and you can rotate it. And it's completely up. You can do that and can move it there. See. Now I'll just, um. Copy that because I'm going to put and paste. I guess on this. Okay. Now we go to our skill tool again. Hold down shift and rotate this the other way. So, ground. See, now it's like that. That's just the basic. Features. You can leave it at that if you want to. Now onto the icon, how I made it. Go to one of the tools, hold down on the rectangle tool and you can choose one of these stuff. I went on the ellipse tool. Now let's go in place and then make sure the fill is black. Or if you want, you could have a thing. Okay, now make a circle. Okay, now you could do the. What was it? No, it wasn't that. It was soft rounded. I think it was. Mm. <laughs> I don't seem to. F oh, yeah, it is. Soft rounded. Now increase the size. That's probably too big. Doesn't work, you can do it as big as you want. And just click there. See now, we have a basic thing. You can add some text now. Go and make a box. I'm just going to type in Y for YouTube. And I'm going to move it there. I'm going to increase the size. But first, I'm going to go back to the text tool and highlight it. I'm going to make it custom size 110. See, that's a bit bigger. So, yeah. Now you can add an effect on it again. Go into styles. That burnt effect, maybe. Where's that red effect? You can use that, it looks good. Um, orange effect purple whatever 